lifestyle website, julieblanner.com, where I share easy recipes, everyday entertaining ideas, and home decor. Today I'm sharing my saltine toffee recipe with you. This recipe was taught to me in second grade in an after school cooking class, and if it's easy enough for kids, it's easy enough for you too. It takes only three ingredients in less than 10 minutes to make a great batch for indulging or for gifting. So let's get started. my cookie sheet with saltine toffee. Really quick and easy thing to do. Great activity for little hands to help with. And we're just gonna cover it up. Doesn't have to be perfect, but if you can get all the, cook all the crackers to go in the same direction, that is ideal. You want easy cleanup. I recommend using foil to line your cookie sheet with, but it also just washes off if you soak it for a few minutes. Now that we've lined our cookie sheet, we're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees and get started on the toffee mixture. Now we're going to melt our butter over medium heat. One of the best things about making saltine toffee is that it actually doesn't require a candy thermometer like so many Christmas candy recipes do. As the butter melts, we're gonna go ahead and measure a cup of brown sugar I like it packed, that way we can really get a lot of that caramel flavor in there. I'm going to add it to the melted butter. And it's okay if it's still melting. It'll melt right along in there with it. And we'll stir. Now we're going to carefully pour this over our saltine crackers. So it's good until the last drop. We'll smooth this over the crackers. And oh gosh, it smells so amazing. I can't wait for you to try this easy recipe. Now one of the best things about this recipe is, is that it doesn't have to be perfect. No one will know the difference by the time it's all chopped up into little shareable squares. Now we're going to bake it for about five minutes. And the reason why is it really allows the toffee flavor to seep into the crackers. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, it's go time. We're going to sprinkle chocolate chips over the top. And as they melt, we will smooth them. Now we're going to use our spreader and spread the chocolate on until smooth. If you want to make this recipe festive, feel free to add M&Ms. You could also add almonds, peppermint, sea salt, whatever your little heart desires. But it's amazing as is, which is how I first made it and tend to continue making it. Now we're going to let our saltine toffee cool and set. Then we can break it up into little pieces that are perfect for indulging or for gifting. Get the full recipe at julieblanner.com. Don't forget to click subscribe to follow along for more easy recipes.